गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डू टॉपिक एस्टिमेशन अवर एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट थ्री इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस टॉपिक एस्टिमेशन दिस टॉपिक यू डेड इन प्रीवियस क्लास ऑल्सो एस्टिमेशन राउंड ऑफ यू कॉल इट राउंड ऑफ ऑल्सो अब राउंड ऑफ कैसे फर्स्ट इज नियरेस्ट टू टेन इफ वी हैव 76 and we have to estimate this number nearest to 10 we will use this rule we will use any rule but in this case we will use nearest to 10 because there are only two digits ones tens now how we will do estimate nearest to 10 we will check in 10 how many zero are there one so we will convert this last number once number in zero like this and we will compare this number to 5 half of this we will compare this 6 to 5 if this number is equal to 5 or more than 5 then we will add 1 in next number 1 plus 7 8 so it means uh, 80 is the round of number of 76 we will take another example let us assume it is 45 we have to estimate it okay so again we have to uh, estimate nearest to 10 in 10 10 is there so last number will become 10 and now we will compare this number again to 5 now 5 is equal to 5 i told you if last number is uh, this number is equal to 5 or more than 5 then we will add 1 in next number 4 plus 1 50 i am taking another number 1 3 2 and we have to do estimate nearest to 10 again then in there is 1 0 so this we will convert in 1 0 now we will compare this 2 to 5 now in this case 2 is less than 5 so we will not add 1 in this 3 will come same 1 will come same so simple rule if this number this number is greater than 5 or uh, more than 5 then we will add 1 in next number but if this number is less than 5 so we will not add so all numbers will come same that is the rule of nearest to 10 now next we will do estimate nearest to 100 let uh, we will uh, uh, we will uh, use same rules like this we have 3 6 2 we have to estimate nearest to 100 but in 100 there are two zeros so we will convert last two number into two zeros like this theek hai in previous uh, rule nearest to 10 we are comparing to 5 because 5 is half of 10 but now in this case what is the half of 100 50 so we will compare these two numbers to 50 now 62 is greater than 50 so we will add 1 in Uh, next number plus one plus three four it will be four hundred. Take another example. We have to estimate nearest to hundred. Again in hundred two zeros are there. So last two numbers we will convert into zero. Now we will compare this number to fifty. Then it is less than fifty. so we will not add any number in 7 it will come same all numbers take another example again we will convert last two number into two zeros now 50 is equal to 50 both are same so we will add one in next number that is 3300 now we will come estimate nearest to 
thousand. In thousand, we will compare to five hundred because it is half of thousand. Take example. We have to uh, estimate this number nearest to thousand. In thousand, how many zeros? Three. So last three numbers we will convert into zeros. Now we will compare this number to five hundred. Five sixty one is greater than. 500 so we will add 1 in next number that is 2 plus 1 3 this number will come same so it will be 33000 next number is now we will again estimate nearest to 1000 in 1000 three zeros are there so last three numbers we will convert into zeros now 491 is compared to 500 and it is less than 5 so we will not add anything in this number it will come same last example we will take this we have to convert into zeros 3 now we will compare this 500 to 500 this is equal so we will add 1 that is 33000 now we will do exercise 1.3 first question is Estimate each using general rule. Now we have to estimate this sum. There is no given. There is not given that uh, we have to estimate nearest to which. So we will use a uh, nearest to ten, hundred, thousand according to the question. Now look at the A part. Seven thirty and nine uh, nine hundred ninety eight. So now seven thirty and. Nine hundred ninety-eight. We will estimate nearest to hundred. In hundred, we will write here nearest to hundred. In hundred, two zeros are there. So last two numbers will become two zeros. And in hundred, we have to compare with fifty half of hundred. So thirty is less than fifty, so we will not add one in seven. It will it will be seven hundred. Now same rule in here. Ninety eight will become two zeros, and ninety eight is greater than fifty, so we will add one in nine. Nine plus one, ten. Now we will add both numbers. It will be seventeen hundred. This so this is the estimated sum. And students, uh, why we do estimation? Uh, by using estimation, the calculation will be easy for you. So we will use estimation for for simplify the calculation. Now come on the next part. Now here we will use because digits are more than three, so we will use uh, nearest to thousand property of estimation. First of all, we will take this number. Nearest to thousand. Now, what is the half of thousand? Five hundred. In thousand, three zeros are there. So last three numbers will become zero. Two ninety two is less than five hundred. So we will not add anything in twenty eight. It will become same. Last three numbers again. Four ninety six is less than five hundred. Again, we will not add anything in twenty one. Now we have to subtract these two numbers. So estimated difference is seven thousand. Pause on this video and solve the sums.